I had to take a vacation, just been working way too hard. So I'm here at the beach. Not really. I'm uh, doing this crown molding. I did a hundred foot of this, or a hundred feet of this crown molding today. All by myself. John went to Legoland today for his son's birthday or something, so that was cool. But this was a small enough job, I thought I could handle it. I just put this four and a quarter inch crown all through here. And it took me probably, oh, I could have done something with that too. Um, an hour and 45 minutes, I listened to a podcast that I installed all this in an hour and 45 minutes. It was pretty crazy. But with the painting and everything, the masking, the, um, the caulking, all that stuff, I started at 9.30. Let's see what time it is now. Okay, 2.01. So you do the math on that. Pretty quick. I'm not bragging or anything, I'm just, this, is, this was pretty cool. I didn't think I could do this that quick. Still have some touch-ups to do around these returns. Got that miter looking good. These returns up the stairs. Usually when I'm working, I'm kind of like pacing myself because I have John with me. But I was like a piston in an engine today. Just not rushing, because if I rush, I'll really really screw some stuff up, but just super focused, had my headphones on um, and just making it happen really. So with this job, um, it's two o'clock and I'm really, I've just gotta pull this masking tape, do a little bit of touch-ups and I'm done. So yeah, pretty pumped up about this. Now I get to go do another small job. Um, there's a crazy angle this lady has and I'm going to try to figure it out for her. She had one guy out there. He did great work. She sent me some pictures. Um, but there's this weird angle. And I even told her, like, honestly, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that angle either. Because the crown that she chose is just so big and it's like a vaulted ceiling. I could do the angle with this crown, but I could not do it with the crown that she had. Or I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to record that. So we'll see. But I gotta peel this tape and then I'm done. But basically just saying in this video, you can get a lot done on your own. It's crazy. I would much have rather had John here, but you know, sometimes we gotta take days off. But thought I'd be here till six and it's two and I'm pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna peel this tape and shoot, I'm out of here. And I was actually surprised by this paint that I used today. This is Valspar Signature. And it says, stands up to anything. It was great. Did not expect that. I'm usually doing Sherwin-Williams. And that's the paintbrush I used. I let it. This is a $3 paintbrush. I love these things. I get them at the hardware store. They're, they're the same exact thing as Purdy. They're called Best Life Co. And this truck is dirty. Look at this. This is disgusting. Freaking gross. And then the vacuum fell over right here. You gotta sweep that up. But yeah, this is what it looks like when you're going non-stop. But that's pretty much it for this job. And yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of touch-ups with that brush. And then I'm out of here. Go to see if I can find some more work. You can get a lot done on your own. You'd be surprised. And you'd be surprised when you have to do something what you can get done. No way. Look who's calling me.
Hey, Trump, what's up, man? How's it going? Hold on, hold on, Trump, hold on. I'm sorry, I gotta get my microphone set up. Nobody's gonna believe that that you actually called. Trump. Well, my time is very limited. Man, I, I appreciate the call, Trump. Uh, I'm just honored to be able to talk to you. Um, we gotta do something. We We need crown molding. We need to make a law where there's like crown molding in every house. Yes, so important. The ceiling's been neglected for far too long. Yeah, I don't even know what to I say. I love the way I feel. It's so great. This is so great all the time. And frankly, the crown molding will be gold plated. Okay, it will have a large key emblem. In all the corners, and we're really going to do a beautiful thing here. It's going to be so fantastic. Okay, it's going to be so great. I love the tear glue. Okay, I couldn't have my fingers. And that was a mistake, but we're learning, we're evolving very rapidly, very fast. Sir, here you can find your way out, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I just got pulled over. Uh, there was a weird sign that said, wait for pilot car. And I didn't see it. He says it's back there. And he pulled me over, so. Thankfully, he left me off with a warning. But anytime those guys pull me over, I'm just super nice. Like, yes, sir, everything. Because I just worked really hard to make money. And I'm not about to give it to him or, you know, the state or whatever. But anyways, I'm gonna see if I can go to that next house now. So, headed that way. What did I get myself into? I'm gonna try to do this angle. I just walked in the house and honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I don't think so. But two jobs in one day and this is kind of rare. I'll take y'all inside and show you what's going on. All right, so I'll show you all just what I'm just gonna set up in here. This is a piece of scrap, but this is the molding. It's huge. It's <laughs> ridiculously huge. And it's like a, one of those polystyrene fun crown moldings or whatever. It's not really foam, but it's like a different kind of material. But I'm gonna cut it nested. I'm not gonna cut it flat because I do have these big mega fences. These are from Jesus um, Custom Fabricating Solutions. There was a decal on here, but there's so much dust it fell off. So these will allow me to cut this nested as long as the blade will go all the way through. I haven't checked it yet. But uh, we'll, I'll take you in and show you the job. Hey, what's up? Well, it's the next day and we're at a new job, another job, and I was actually able to fix that crown molding corner that that lady had issues with. I took my camera in, but I was just, I had a massive headache and I was trying to stay focused, but I'll show you a picture and some video of what it looked like before the guy that tried it before me. And then I was actually able to figure it out. So here's a picture of it finished. Um, so now we're here at this job and this is a flood, a house that was flooded. So it's completely being remodeled. I think they took the drywall out from like three feet down. Um, they walked, they went out of town and came home to a big flood. And that happens a lot. I don't know why. It's always when you go out of town. But right now we're doing crown molding. And I got this Graco GX19 that I'm spraying the crown molding with. Where is it? Oh, it's in the other room. Um, but this is the crown we're using and we're going to, I'll show you how I can spray this with that GX19 and my little setup. I'll go grab that gun. So this is my GX19. I love this sprayer. This is my favorite one. Cause you can just pick it up like this and carry it from room to room. You don't have to pick up this sprayer and the gallon or whatever it is you're using. 
it's just a really cool small unit for what we do. But what I'm using, I've got Sherwin Williams quick dry primer in here. I've got a, let me grab the gun. Got a 310 tip and a 20 inch extension so I don't have to get on the ladder. So I'm going to just spray this and show you how this looks. Um, they're gonna repaint this, but I'll show you right here on the wall. See, this is where they, they had to cut all this drywall out and replace it and like patch it up. So I guess it's about a foot and a half down. But this is the fan that this tip gives. I'll do it more up here. So it's a very small fan, so like a six inch fan. And for this crown molding right here, this is a four and five eighth crown molding. I'll be able to really get this on there really good with this tip. With these smaller tips, I would normally be wearing a respirator. Do as I say, not as I do. Just kidding. Um, with these normal tips, or with these tips, um, there's a lot less overspray with these green FFLP tips. Fine finish, low pressure. And so I've got my primer coat on all this. We did all this place is a mess, but uh, the reason I'm saying that low pressure is because, I mean that low overspray is because I'm not worried about getting overspray on these cabinets or anything. This tip and holding it so close with this extension almost eliminate that chance of overspray. I mean, there's always going to be some, but from what I can see, there's no overspray here. And my experience of using these in this situation, there's very little minimal overspray. But we covered up the cabinets, some of it fell down over there, and like probably like the main stuff. but. Yeah, this is a good little system. So we're gonna start filling nail holes. Anybody wants to come fill nail holes, give me a call. I do a dollar per, no, that's way too much. Uh, nickel, a nickel per nail, no, that's still, there's so many nail holes. Um, <laughs> a penny per nail hole. So maybe you can make a couple of bucks. Yeah, a hundred bucks. <laughs> I mean, a couple of dollars. Ugh, freaking slave labor. Whoa, <laughs> I did not see that scene.